And as we watch the next winter storm, utility crews across the state, they're getting ready. They've been busy with the last storm with some regions to our east just now getting their power restored. Despite this, the hardest hit places like the North Country still reporting around 1500 outages. As for this weekend, equipment is set up along state roads to help clean up the snow and the state DOT has been filling barns with more salt with plows ready to go. The governor brought in as many people as possible, she said, and declared a state of emergency for this next winter wallop. We've been working around the clock to recover from the last storm earlier this week before the one that is unfolding right now. And many of our personnel, fortunately, are pre-positioned for this next storm as well. Utility crews already here. 11,000 crew members ready to the store power, wherever it comes down, uh, actually 5,500 are already in Western New York as we speak. We'll be adding more as necessary. And we're going to continue talking about how we can keep them safe. Warming shelters are being set up. I know the city of Buffalo is doing one. We're going to have state warm uh, centers, state run centers as well. And the governor adds the National Guard will be stationed in certain places by tomorrow morning. A tandem truck, an empty trailer, a tandem truck, an empty trailer ban is also in place from Rochester exit 56 to the Pennsylvania state line. NYSEG, National Grid, and RG&E have teams in place in our region and across the state for this next system as well. We will, of course, keep you updated on any outages in our region throughout the weekend.